Hello and welcome to the Met Office 10 day trend. A look at the most likely weather patterns through the next week and a bit affecting the British Isles. And this week, well, our weather will be influenced by Arctic air colliding with tropical air across the Atlantic, powerful jet streams, deep lows, wind and rain. In other words, it's looking like typical October fair. The further northwest you are, the windier and wetter it's likely to be. The further southeast you are, the warmer and drier it will be occasionally, but no two days will be the same. The weather will be highly mixed from place to place and from day to day. We're all likely to have some unsettled weather at times. Having said that, Thursday's looking fine across much of England and Wales. Dry with some sunshine coming through and warm up to 20 degrees in a few spots. More unsettled in the northwest, rain pushing through. That ends up slicing the country in two on Friday. Warm to the south, blustery and cooler to the north. Heavy showers for the north of Scotland. Similar weather patterns we've seen through the working week with high pressure often close to the south. This is Wednesday and low pressure systems moving to the north, a jet stream across northern parts of Britain. But that's all set to change as we close out the week. Now, if we look at the other side of the world, North America, and go through Thursday and into Friday, you can see a very deep area of low pressure moving across Canada. And as that deepens, it buckles the jet stream on the other side of the Atlantic, sending a ripple downstream and altering the position of the jet stream by the end of the week. Over the UK, it's still going across the north of the country, but looking out west, you can see it dives south and this extending jet stream is likely to start to pick up more unsettled weather for many places into the start of the weekend. You can see the weather front on Friday afternoon still dividing the country, but the jet stream out to the west starting to pick up these pulses of brighter rainfall, heavier rainfall as we end Friday and go into Saturday. And this time it's England and Wales that is likely to be prone to the most unsettled weather as we start off the weekend. Central England into southwest England, parts of Wales, some heavy rainfall, a keen wind as well. I'm feeling cold under that wet weather, but it doesn't quite reach the southeast and we could well draw up some warm air. So 19 degrees possible, whilst fresher but brighter conditions for Scotland and Northern Ireland. More uncertainty, though, as we end the weekend. Now, later Saturday and into Sunday, the general theme will be that this rainfall will clear southeastwards. But the jet stream remains in this highly elongated loop to the south of the country. And that often throws up uncertainties, particularly when it comes to how quickly these things move away and how heavy the rainfall will be. Now, it looks likely that through Sunday we'll start off wet in the southeast and that rain will clear. But there are some computer models that suggest we'll hold on to the rain for longer and it will be heavier. We'll see brighter colours here, giving some very wet weather indeed. So that's certainly something we're keeping a close eye on at the Met Office. Whatever happens, we've got a ridge of high pressure waiting to build in once that rain clears. And that means it will be a chilly but bright start to the day across the north. Doesn't last long, however, because, well, more wind and rain is on the way as we end the weekend across northern Britain and that slowly and erratically sinks southwards through Monday and Tuesday, keeping things largely dry at the start of next week in the south at least. If we follow this area all the way back, well, we find ourselves looking at Hurricane Leslie. I've not mentioned Leslie yet because actually over the next five days, Hurricane Leslie in the middle of the Atlantic will just stay in the middle of the Atlantic, just milling around and causing no issues. But if we play through that sequence over the next five days, once again, you can see that Hurricane Leslie is associated with very warm tropical air. This is North America and this is the very cold air coming out of Canada at the start of next week behind that deep area of low pressure I mentioned earlier. Now, as that Arctic air tumbles south into the Atlantic, the jet stream will also be diverted south over the middle of the Atlantic. And where we get the collision of the Arctic air with the tropical air, well, that will add fuel to that southward diving jet stream. What does that mean for the middle and latter half of next week? It means that the jet stream will have more power, it will develop areas of low pressure, and it will start to send them towards western parts of the UK. So whilst it's the northwest of Britain that will see the most unsettled weather at the start of next week, 
by the middle of next week, we'll start to see the low pressure systems move up from the southwest, bringing potentially between Wednesday and Saturday next week, bouts of wind and rain into western parts of the UK. And we'll likely have low pressure sitting to the west of the country with high pressure closer to the east. But it's a battleground situation and that means that subtle differences in the shape of the jet stream because of the interaction of Arctic air with tropical air will make a big difference towards the end of next week in terms of how close these low pressure systems come, how deep they are and how much of an influence high pressure has on southern and eastern Britain. So big uncertainties as we end next week and it looks very likely that we're going to see some unsettled weather, some wind and rain moving up from the southwest. But just how unsettled it will be, well, that's the big question mark. The general dividing line across the country will be that the west will have the most frequent bouts of wind and rain and it will often be drier and warmer in the east. However, there are a lot of things that are likely to, uh, to cause uncertainties in the forecast over the next seven days at least, not to mention the next 10 days. So always worth keeping a close eye on the forecast and keeping up to date with things via the Met Office website, through our app and via our social media channels. Bye bye.